What is going on you guys? Joey here from Coyote Wild and today I am presenting Tooth and Tail, a review of Pocket Watch Games' newest title. Pocket Watch Games, if you're not familiar, was the creator of the top-down strategy uh, heist game Monaco, What's Yours is Mine. Now this game, Tooth and Tail, it's a bit different. It's a real-time strategy game. Uh, the other one was more of a stealth strategy without the resource management so much. But this one is more similar to StarCraft in its uh, conception uh, and a lot of things. Although the storyline uh, revolves around a civil war of who gets to eat... Like, everybody wants to eat meat. And the war revolves around who is the meat and who eats. Sort of in the same vein of Jonathan Swift's A Modest Proposal. Uh, in this case, one of the factions, actually the civilized, does propose eating the poor as a means of population control. Pretty grim, pretty satirical, uh, very, very funny story. Uh, if a bit dark. One of uh, one of my favorite things is no two matches are actually the same. Whenever you go into multiplayer, and actually in the campaign it'll do this as well, it'll randomly generate your map each time you select. So oh, you God. select your commander, and I'm gonna play against a computer for purposes of observation. Here we go. A cool feature that I really appreciate is the uh, whenever you're running around, your commander is actually the camera. So whenever you're running around, your camera is actually the most, uh, for the most part, focused on your character. And this game feels, looks and feels a lot like you're, uh, well, it's not terribly similar to anything, uh, except for, you know, general RTS oh, games. Yeah. It's got some distinct, uh, functions that make it different, such as, such as the general, uh, strategy. You know, it's important to scout your enemies early on to make sure you have the tactical advantage. Uh, if you don't do that, then you wind up getting screwed really fast. And not in the, hey, you need to buy me dinner first sort of way. And so, each of these uh, units, you actually, when you're on keyboard, it's like, Page down, page up, or something maybe, I'm not sure. No, it's Q and E to select your own unit uh, structures, I think. And then it's uh, mouse to select group, or right mouse to select group, left mouse to select all. Right. No. Left mouse to select group, right mouse to select all. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with this game already... Uh, you, you may appreciate the... Uh, I, the satire of it all, I generally find satire to be a sort of a awesome thing in a literal sense of awe. 
That's not what I meant to do, dang it. I just... Anyway, I'm gonna lose this match pretty badly because I'm already getting my farm beaten to crap. If you're not good enough to win early on, then you're probably not going to win at all, to be honest. Uh, like right now, I'm four minutes in, I don't have any sizable defenses, I've already lost a couple farms and I'm losing them fast. So this is, and that means it's just like any other RTS. I suck. Hopefully I can get a couple moles here and uh, really screw up their junk before they're able to rush me again. I'm gonna go ahead and claim that for my own. Hopefully they give me a tactical advantage over them. Uh, at least for the short term here. These chameleons are really annoying because they're stealth. They can sneak up on you and you don't really have a way of countering them and unless you're unless you have air units which are pretty efficient at countering. I may have gotten lucky in this. Um, and that I can probably take out this uh, bunker before they take mine out. No, never mind. I just lost it. So, uh, there's a lesson to be learned there. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, other than don't be too eager because you'll die. Hopefully I can destroy this crystal before they destroy me, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Because I'm just at everything. Like real life. And remember everybody, the, the uh, sort of a Catchphrase at Coyote Wild, Joey sucks at everything. Dang it. See? See exactly what I mean? I'm, uh... So I'm just gonna actually... There's not really much hope for me at this point. I'm going to surrender. Uh, and that was probably the wrong idea, but... Yeah, see, I... I was doing well enough but I didn't have enough troops to keep going uh, for any longer. And that's just something you're going to experience uh, learning. Uh, well, as you learn how to play. Uh, I was playing with Guy Fox Games uh, Tuesday, Tuesday evening, I think it was, uh, just to see how it played, and he actually used a strategy. I think he called it I Am God, and he rushed me with just a large sum of ground units. Totally caught me by surprise. I had no prep for this at all. Even scouting his base didn't yield enough uh, prep time for it, which that's more a issue of where I was standing. Uh, on the other hand, it's, you know, since it causes you to, you know, think on your feet, that's, like, sort of refreshing. 
Although, right now there's an issue in the game where sometimes you'll your start location is going to be completely surrounded by water, uh, enough so that you have to actually establish a second base very quickly in order to even get warrants. Uh, this is going to be patched probably in the next update, which I'm not sure when that'll be, but uh, they actually updated it, I think, the day after it was released. But hopefully they fix the... Uh, that issue soon. Another issue that the game has, it was promised to have cross-platform upon release. However, due to uh, unforeseen circumstances, that was pushed back. So, right now, you're actually not able to play between GOG, Steam, and PSN. At least not for a little while. That's one of the updates they're really trying to get out quick because it's something they promised a lot of people you know buy games like this for the multiplayer uh one thing about the multiplayer in this that is different is it it's not as uh not as detrimental i've already said that when you lose uh a match because it's such short rounds they call them popcorn matches i think basically five to twelve minutes you're matches played through. It's a pretty neat little aspect. Uh, story mode is kind of is kind of difficult. It's probably more difficult than the multiplayer because they have various like you have a primary objective and you have a heroic objective. So there's one match where you are supposed to finish the map match with a uh, like 3000 net worth of units or uh structures, units, and all that. And that's the heroic goal. The other goal is, I think, destroy the enemy grist mills. It's relatively simple to take out enemy grist mills if you're fast. Uh, but finish... No, it's. I, I think it's a survival. Yeah, it's survival. You have to survive for six minutes and finish with a net... And the heroic is finished with a net worth of 3,000. 3, Seems simple enough. It's far from simple, in fact, because there's a whole extra uh, aspect you have to keep in mind. You have to be able to maintain your input from your farms, your output from your warrens. You have to be continuously building warrens and supplementing your troops. Numbers doesn't sound too bad. They send large droves of suicider frogs and, I think, lizards and skunks. That's sort of a hard strategy to counter. As for that, I think the game is wonderful. I am glad I, uh, I pre-ordered it, which I don't normally do for video games. Anyway, if you like this video, click like and favorite down in the link if you want to see more content like this in the future subscribe if you want to donate to coyote wild directly there will be a link uh either in the corner or down in the description below to the coyote wild patreon account where you can subscribe and donate directly as always have a great time don't do anything i wouldn't do i know my family tells me that doesn't narrow it down enough uh pretty much just stay away from mayonnaise back from the dead